I'm really enjoying playing. I now understand what happens when you think you have a really good idea, but the numbers don't. It's yeah. so George yeah. Emperor, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, and I now I, I have so much more. I wouldn't say compassion and empathy because that's ridiculous. <laughs> but like, no, well, God no. But like, <laughs> underst not. understanding of Michael Hayden. Sure. <laughs> For just 600 years, the city of Waterdeep has enjoyed a harmonic government um, run by an one open lord and a government of masked lords that have brought peace, prosperity, and some form of oligarchic control to the city of Splendors. The open lord, the last open lord, Sir Roderick Shaw, unfortunately recently dead, has plunged that city into turmoil. That turmoil is now quickly being brought under control by the ruthless and efficient hand of the new model watch under the command of Commander Civilar Frost. Civilar. Who has already come head to head with the newest stalwarts of law and order, those plucky denizens of the Beggar's Court that are the Gribbets Detective Agency. Now, like all good battles, internecine battles between cops, blood is now on the interrogation room floor as... Mandelcore? Mm. Desk Sergeant Mandel Manly Boy. I don't remember. Desk Mandel Sergeant Manly Boy Mandelcore. Mandel 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 Manly Boy Mandelcore. <laughs> is already being. Um, is what does it matter? He's about to die. <laughs> haunched over the collapsed body of Drongo, the Kenku Street Thief. We're letting haunched just happen? As behind him, oh, sneaking, okay. a dagger in I her hand even... is the figure of sensation in the taverns, influencer. Bard extraordinaire, Miss Zephyr Bell, who sneaks towards him, dagger already in a hand, and I need you to immediately roll for me, both of you, just a little bit of that good old initiative. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's when roll we that roll the dice. That's, you've well, got it, you've got now it. Now you're going to add your initiative, which is oh, three. Yeah, sorry. 22 oh, do you want us to, over here. Do you want us to roll for it just in case? Two I would love two. you to both roll for it just in <laughs> just I got a three, case. a big old three. Right, so I got yeah. 21. Excuse oh me, my Dave. god, 21 for Zephyr. I got 22. 22 for Drongo. Wait, you're gonna you're gonna do this the whole time? <laughs> yeah. well, this is what you're gonna be like? I got magic little hands. <laughs> that's three for Tomathan Trotwood. And I got eight. Eight. All right. Well, that's terrible for both of you. That's, that's shame. What about manly, manly boy Mandelcore? <laughs> I reckon manly boy has tiny little shorts. Mandel boy. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mandel boy got Man a two. Mandel boy. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so he's not doing great, which means that the first one up is Trongo. Oh, is he not dead? He just got stabbed in the throat. We haven't done the... No, 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 no. Stabbing yet. in the throat is a potential outcome that may yet happen. Oh. You were faking being sick. Yeah, so I'm on the ground, so what I do is I sweep my leg around. Just whoop, right, so as he's... The back yeah. of the that's so cool. Nice, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, All right, like as it. he spins around to check on Zephyr Bell, you are going to spin around, and that means I need you to make for me quickly, with advantage, a um, an attack roll. Oh, question. Yes. Sneak attack. I'm about to. I was oh, like, okay, yeah, you're going to do it. Great, 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 great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you have advantage. Do you know what that means? Mm mm. Okay. It means. You know what I'm really good in? You guys let me roll three dice instead of just one. You, you rolled two. You're you very two. close. Oh, oh, you roll he's another one. Oh, guys, I'm so tall. <laughs> okay, great. Well done. So that means that you. Are Ooh. 18. So you beat the armor class of 16, the chain shirt that the guard is wearing. Now you are a rogue, and I gave some special yeah. dice to Alex. This is this black dice Ooh. is for you. That is your sneak attack dice. And okay. if you can manage this, it took Simon five and a half <laughs> years. I would, love, yeah. I would argue that he hasn't worked it out. But still. <laughs> I'm going to say it to you once, as I said it to Simon okay. at the beginning, mm -hmm. which is if you ever have the drop on someone because they're fighting someone else, mm -hmm. because you're hiding, if you have advantage in a fight, you do bonus damage because as a rogue, you're good at targeting the vitals. Does that okay. make sense? Yes. That means that you do your normal damage and you add that dice as well. Okay. And that will scale up as you level up to more and more dice. Oh, baby. Okay. I'm, I'm... So you roll that, but also roll your normal dagger dice, which is four. Wow. Wait, it's, it's so great to learn so much with you guys, you know? <laughs> numbers You've got a lot to offer. Numbers Guess what? I got fun. a one and then I landed on that and I don't know what numbers because that's a that's try. That's one plus four <laughs> and then you've got your plus three there. So your <sighs> DC plus four? It's eight. Four plus three plus one. Yeah, four plus three plus one is eight. You did it. So did I. He's got it. You did that all by yourself. Wow. You almost did that all by yourself. Hey, give me a yourself. sub. 
All right. Th <laughs> <laughs> subs. Give Sub for Tom. <laughs> Sub Sub for Tom. Tom. It's like a meat ball with extra Tom. meat. Tom. All right. So Drongo, as soon as he spins around, Drongo pulls out from his um, massive bird boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you had a weird kind of dagger you wanted. Yeah, oh yeah, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's the one um, that has like one sharp end, another sharp end. Oh, it's like one it's of those double dagger. Yeah, and it's quite, the thing is, even though daggers can be loud and quiet, as everyone knows, mm -hmm. also, you know, what they're consisting of, it's very quiet, isn't it? Mm. So quiet it's dagger? So quiet as the dagger. So I was about to tap you on your goes, mic. Do, 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 so <laughs> so <laughs> as, as Drongo plumage, that's the word I was looking for, as uh, Drongo... No, he's Dolly Partridge, please. <laughs> 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 Dolly Partridge. As Drongo reaches into his Dolly Partridge, you see for the first time... Zephyr, that he has a cunningly concealed leather cross harness with two of these double-bladed cool. daggers. He pulls one out and then just cuts the ankle height hamstrings ay, ay, ay. on the exposed sandals of this guy <laughs> who falls screaming in pain to the ground. And, and as he does that, I will say, walking upstairs on street level, <laughs> eating. Well, Tom and Trotwood is enjoying his sorbet, and I knew I should have got a cone because now I have this cup, and where will I put it? Well, you can put it in the bin, as I was saying. Ah! You hear a scream of pain from a grill that is just a, at your like, feet. Like the walls there, we can. Oh, are they no, down? It's down? Ground level, they went down. Okay, yeah. Well, it's got to again. We're dealing with ground floor, first floor, which sure. is very confusing. So they're down. Oh gosh, that that's that sewer just screamed. And now, Zephyr, you're up next. Okay, so now I do the dagger. And I've got roll. it here, actually, for you, so you can see. Ooh. So we've got actually a Whoa, whole yeah, little. Oh, yeah, baby. I've got a little I got setup. A, Thank you very uh, much, the Wallet Time. You rolled a bloody 20, I can just see it came up well, on my own. Well, it was, it was an guy. unnatural 20, just mm. so don't you? Where are we? Are we outside? I did Where's get a 20. You're, oh, great this question, great question. You're essentially, uh, the two of you are sort of up. Oh, that's the wrong place, isn't it? But you're up. Ah. Yeah. Where's, Can I have Oh, I didn't do an inspiration, Trotwood, guys. Trotwood, have you got your little miniature? Trotwood's oh, there yeah. as well. So you're both up there. Mm. Yeah. Can I inspire my good friend? Yeah. Is that a bonus anchor? action? Yes, give the dice away. Here you go. go Let's on. do a good murder. Hey, thanks for it. <laughs> no, hang on. No, 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 no. You have to. So, how do you inspire? Oh, Is that yeah. it? Whip your thing out. <laughs> <laughs> Whip your bean out! Whip it out and spark it. Whip your bean out! Wait, wait, so where, how does it work though, realistically? You, you right? have to do I have like mid song. stab also. It's like this, you go, great job! <laughs> it's bards are weird, right? Yeah, because, you go. Because I'm doing like, it's boy. a time. Nobody like. really understands how bards work. I feel like nobody's ever made it really work. It's a fundamental of Dungeons and Dragons. Well, I've made it work. Okay. <laughs> In a different campaign, unrelated to this podcast. You <laughs> <laughs> so, will never know. Yeah. Like another Dungeons and Dragons campaign? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Because that would be quite upsetting. No, dilute the brain. Yeah, I, oh, I, I mean, I guess I'm going to sing sing a song. I'm like, think, little so thing. So he's lying there and he's bleeding out his ankles. I'm sitting there with a... And, but, but, and I'm still, like, going to stab, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess... This is the dragon. This is weird! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, all right. And I'm like, oh, that was a really good stab <laughs> that you did... Great. It's so strange that you have a and pipe, with, I don't know why her, you use that. The, as I said, an air genasi, which means that there's constantly a sort of rustling feel of bre easy breezy wind all around. Mm, it's like, oh, it's a, what's your favourite type of wind? Oh, probably a zephyr. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, I get it. So constantly her hair and her clothes slightly moving and it's the harmonics of that wind makes it sound like it's in a tripartite harmony. Oh my goodness. A really good step that you did. Oh, it's a major seventh. That makes me want to stab. Yeah. Yeah. You get some bardic inspiration, and now it's your action. That was just a bonus action. Well, yes. So I got a twenty, mm -hmm. and then I did uh, five five damage. Five damage. Did yes. you double the dice? Why should I? Because well, you get a twenty. No, no, no. It wasn't, no, it a, wasn't natural a natural twenty. Oh, it wasn't a natural. And so as it's you just a little as you say 20. that, you stab into the the Throw face it, part of, of his bucket helmet, mm -hmm. and he gurgles in pain and alarm and collapses dead on the floor as you look up and you see the figures of Rockfor Balboa mm -hmm. and Tommy Trotwood looking down on you and the next one up is Rockfor. Ah, it seems you have committed extra crime. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I use mold earth mm. to move some of, start moving the earth that's next to the the bars to potentially weaken them potentially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Whoa. before we get, before we get, no, 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 it's your turn, sorry. Yeah. No, no, it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to this. If you have advice to say, don't, if you want to say don't do that, that's totally fine. 
Don't kill cops? Is <laughs> no, no, I was just, I was just wondering if there was an analogue sort of, um, if we needed to bring magic into this at all. I'm just wondering if we can sort of jimmy open something. You know? Well, you can Using try. the magic of levers, do you know? Do you have a stick or something? Well, I could just say, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of uh, chaos around, and, um, you know, I think there's probably an iron bar that I can see somewhere. Yes. So what I will tell you is that with the spell Mulder, if you can take about a five feet cube, of it and now stone. Five feet, that's a big cube. That's big. It's good, that's good. Now it's the size of a Kenku. Uh -huh. You can't necessarily uh, immediately melt it away, but you can fundamentally damage how strong I the just want to, yeah, are. damage the bottom of the fixture so we can maybe kick so them in. It basically gets about the texture of hard dirt as you start to use your druidic abilities to morph it. Well, I have to say, civilians around you start to notice what you're doing and you can hear as you stand outside a cop shop. Okay, can I try something? Yeah, because it's now your go. Okay, great. Here's what I'm going to do. Am I wearing a hat? Is that? It, does that matter? It, it kind of does. No. Okay. <laughs> but, it, yeah, oh, hang on. Is he wearing hang a on, hat? No, no, no. Mama's, del Mama's gelatisserie has like Burger King style cardboard. Oh, nice. And did hat. maybe Tommy pick one up? Yeah, you can have one of those. Okay, great. He puts it on the ground, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and right. he's like... Ladies and gentlemen, mummy, time, please. I used to do, um, and he says to he's, he's, he says to Rockford, I used to do tours. Chanting in an eldritch tongue. Yeah, I used to, do tour, used to do tours at the aquarium, so I kind of know a little bit about this. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have mummy, time, please? Well, we're about to uh, put on a bit of a show. My friends are swarming up here, but an illusion show. What kind of show? Uh, well, have you ever, you ever heard of an illusion magic, uh, young yes. man? Yes, I have. Well, you're Wait, about... in a world of magic, do people also care about illusion magic? This yeah. was the first conversation we ever had in Dragon <laughs> right Fence. before, Right before you murdered the magician. <laughs> and how much have we learned? Yeah. Then? Sorry, did you say this is some kind of show? Oh, yeah, mate, it's a, one of the finest shows in all of Waterdeep. Whack your sh whack your coppers. Is there going to be many, many, delata. many, many more people are now paying attention? I would say about two people What's walking up? by had noticed this. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people are starting to walk over and two guards that were standing in attention outside the guardhouse, okay. one of them has walked over and joined the okay. crowd. In for a penny. <laughs> 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 this is my friend, uh, Rock for the Unbelievable. Please do not uh, uh, distract him while he prepares. He's about to make an incredible illusion. Make a cop shop look like... It Someone's has breaking somebody out. is breaking out. You are bringing <laughs> unnecessary attention to me. <laughs> you, sir, to the guard. What's... <laughs> well, me, uh, I, I don't normally volunteer for this sort of thing. What's your name? Uh, it's Jericho. Sorry, Jericho. No, Jer no, I'm just sorry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> classic Toastmasters stuff. <laughs> let let the Toastmasters. <laughs> oh, sorry, you're chanting. That's fine. Jericho, would you be able to come over here and have a look at these bars? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, I suppose so. Those you bars. want me to look? You want me to look through these bars? Oh my God! Is that my friend Manuko? Is he dead on the ground? Is there two people stabbing him? Or so it would appear. <laughs> Make for me uh -huh. <laughs> with disadvantage. Why disadvantage? He's an amazing showman. Every okay, single thing I'm gonna raise. Is it's not. You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna make it with disadvantage. I am just going to raise the DC to hard. Is that fair? Do you think that this is a hard thing to convince a cop of? Possibly, yes. Do <laughs> you think it's hard or moderate? I've, Which I've word got, do you think better describes I've it? I've got so much sympathy for Michael Hing now. I never <laughs> thought I'd... Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. All right, that's then, fair. Then I'm not going to give you a disadvantage, but you need to roll a 20. Fuck. But you can add your deception to it. Are you even good at deceiving? No. So, why did you take this on yourself? Because I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> he believed in himself. Okay. Maybe it'll work. Do you know what? Uh, shit. That took so long. <laughs> <laughs> that if that wasted want, so much. Okay, that yeah. if you want, you can Thanks. back him up because there is a bard <gasps> in eyesight. You could even inspire. No, you gave. You mean I can inspire him? him. No, I'm saying that with this is going to go through a whole sequence of actions because it's meant to be six <laughs> seconds, and that was about <laughs> okay three yes. minutes. So I will um, play a soft. And but kind of cool, funky tune on my little bean. Okay, great. So that means that mm -hmm. when you roll this deception check, uh -huh. you get the other bardic inspiration dice and you can add that as well. Okay, here we go. Do we have dice cam? We can get dice cam. On this? Oh, yes, right there. Okay. What are you adding as well? Sorry? What's your base deception? What's your modifier? Hero. 
<laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Head off. <laughs> Okay, Lawrence, you have to roll a 20 on a 20-sided die. Hey, oh. I have to roll a 14. No. Because then I get to add this and I roll no, a yeah, 6 on it. Oh, wait, <laughs> once you roll a 6 on that, yeah, then you're fucking golden, man. Okay, so I should roll this first. So it doesn't I know matter. It does not change yeah. the probability. I would roll them both at once. It's no, not. I'm you gonna aren't going to light pack this. I'm going to roll this one first. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Don't need to. This would be so much quicker. Okay, that's a three. three. Yeah. So what we need is a 17. Here we go. Here we go. Random. Another generation. We didn't do it. Oh. We did not We did not pull that off. We really wanted it to go well, but really, it didn't. That is, I don't know if you can see that is... Oh. Mm. Yeah. Go on. No, no, no. Jake the yeah. pirate has, and I'm going to... I'm, 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 I'm a big enough man that I will admit it. Do you know what? I probably should have made this a performance check. <gasps> oh! oh. Better performer than I have a zero on performance <laughs> as well. <laughs> then it doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. Take the Jake the Pirate. Can I, can I try something? Okay. Okay, because I'm a bit of a mimic, uh, right? Yes, so, you are. Okay. Um, uh, maybe I say some words. So he's like lying down f face first. It looks pretty sick. Um, I'm going to pretend to do his voice and I'm going to be like, hey! Mm -hmm. Sorry. You can do this. You 100% can do this. You can only say words that you have heard Mandelbro <laughs> okay. say yeah. before. That's so hard for him. Um, it's just how it works. So I kind of turn. I'm, I kind of shout. No, not necessarily. We might not have seen these scenes, but mm. things that would reasonably we would believe that the oh, desk yeah, sergeant yeah. has said to you. Um, what the fuck are you doing? Get away from the bars! <laughs> oh. oh. I'm, oh. I'm sorry. What was that part of the test? Is that part of the part of the? Well, you heard the man. He, you've tested the bars, have you not? Sorry. Did I see? Did I manage to just before? Yes. When you rolled very badly. Did I see someone dead? Well, you tell me. You heard his voice. He told you to get away. You are such an idiot. <laughs> are you okay, Mandelbro? I'm the best. I'm the very best. Look how strong I am. Okay. Well, what was? It? <laughs> just cut back. <laughs> <laughs> If we just cut back quickly... Would you like to say the yeah, same? Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Drongo is in the jail, your Mandelbro. Yeah. Let go of me, you dumb piece of po poop. I'm the best <laughs> at being a cop. I'm the best at putting people in cells. Yeah, go on. You want to have an arm wrestle or something like that? Um, uh, I'm the strongest. <laughs> is that what you said? Could have been. Um, um, Yahtzee! I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> look how? Yeah, uh, yeah look how... Uh, Won the game? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and then back in the scene, he uh, shouts, Look how strong I am! Yahtzee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Can you make for me a deception check with advantage? Because you're I'm using your Kenku damage. racial ability. So I got deception of three. I don't know. That's a uh, seven plus that, five. And that one again because yeah. you have advantage. Oh, advantage. cool. So 14. Roll it again. Oh, gosh. You take the higher one. Oh, you're amazing. You All right. Big. All right, look, I, I thought you were in trouble there. How do you make him look like he's bleeding from well, the neck uh, like that? Are you asking how he does it? No, I'm sorry, I could. Uh, well done. Well, well. I've now been... that's just what we call the turn. <laughs> okay, I was gonna leave, but I can't wait to see the prestige. Because the oh. A student of the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have dabbled. <laughs> as he says that, he snaps his hand, <laughs> and a, there's a twang of a broken spring, and three very crumpled, decayed roses smash <laughs> into a brickwork. Piece of brickwork. That's a shame. Well, <laughs> are you ready to see your friend? Rise from the dead. How are you going to manage what? this? <laughs> but before that, the prisoner in the cell to leave <laughs> from the bars onto the street and into that cart. Can I kick in the bars? <laughs> and then you look and there's a cart? Yeah, there's a cart. Just a foot full of fish, probably. Yeah. 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 How are the bars looking at this stage? It's, it's like they're packed in by hard dirt. They're still... You, neither of you could get through them, but the but by now the spell is finished and the stonework is the consistency of like clay or hard dirt. Drongo, pull on the bars. All right, I'll bloody see this. So what you're saying is that I'm going to see the prisoner escape into that cart, which uh -huh. would be fucking magical, uh -huh. and then my friend is going to rise from the ground. Once that prisoner is past <laughs> that block. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's he going to do? <laughs> then your friend will rise up and maybe do a little dance. <laughs> Mandelbro, are you going to do that? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but first, these steel bars that you yourself verified as strong as steel. I mean, I, I, yeah, sure. I saw the mason work on them. Watch how the amazing rock fort makes them melt away. Behold. <laughs> um, can I have advantage if he helps me? You want strength check? Uh, yeah. Okay. He's on the ground. I'm a bit of an acrobat. Why are you on the helps. ground? Because huh? I was... I stabbed the guy. The, no, but it's, it's, it's a very high, high. Oh, so we can't pull him. All right, just straight up strength then. Yeah, are you to good kick at it in. I've got some strength. Yes, you are going. To, I have plus two. You're not going to get advantage, but the test of it is down to the DC of dirt, which is fifteen. Okay, here I go. Take this. Oh no, I have failed. <laughs> so you pull. Um. So so Rockford pulls at the. Uh, bars and one of them slightly moves. You get a sense that there's some give in there. Oh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> is, that the, is that the trick? No, that's not the whole trick. The that's just part to of get the, restless. This is what we call it. This, well, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is a misdirect. This is a, he's exactly right. Grundlewald is correct. This is exactly Jericho. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. This is this is what we call a misdirect. Um, yes. So I should be looking at the fish car, and he turns and looks at the fish car for a second. <laughs> well, it, 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 don't tell too many people, but that's where the real magic's happening. <laughs> and then while he does that, um, can Tommy just like stamp at the bars too? With his yeah. Foot? No, you get advantage because you're already, there's already it's being worked on. So. All right. Okay. And what is it? Two strength dice. or strength? Fifteen. <laughs> Why are you? This is, there is no. You all built characters. Eleven people built Cribbits, detective agency characters. Nobody. Is strong. <laughs> I'm strong. Uh, I've got we hits. We were overloaded strong. with strength. I got an yeah. eleven. What are, with advantage. Yeah. I got plus. Two. No, not with advantage. Roll it again. You, you know what? You haven't used yet. Oh, you've used your bonus roll. Yeah, yeah, you have. Oh yeah, it's a, eleven is as good as it's going to get, unfortunately. Okay, oh. one of the bars twangs and he spins around, and now he's he's concerned because this is going a bit long. Is this and guy who's a guard? Yeah. What is an what an idiot? And Jer- Jericho was like. <laughs> This doesn't feel like a trick would be more seamless. You shouldn't be sweating like this. <laughs> can I can I do something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cast Thunder Wave. Oh boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess that's uh, that's accelerating. Yeah. All right. That's a good idea, don't you think? Oh, I don't It'll know. look like magic. <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask the DM if it's a good idea. Just go <laughs> live your bliss. Do what you feel. All right. You're gonna cast. Thunder wave. A wave of thunderous force sweeps out from me. Everyone will be impressed. <laughs> um, each creature uh, must yes. take a constitution saving throw. Okay, well, that way, I guess that would be your friend, <laughs> oh, oh, a real Frieza conundrum <laughs> is what's happening right now. Con, con save? So, yeah, can you make a con save? You're, um, in fact, 15 feet is everyone, including Jericho. Okay. So can and every... all the crowd. No, 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 no. Jer- Jericho was the one that came forward yeah. for the. For the... Can you get these ones zero. here? Yep. Jericho That's fails. Fair. Oh, I have to... 14. Uh, what's your DC? 12? 12. Yep. Um, succeeds. 13. Succeeds. 8. 8. Fails. Oh. Alright, so Jericho and Drongo both damage. take 2d8 damage. Uh, and you all take half that. You So you take... Do you want to roll the 2d8 for us? Tell us how much damage we all take. I'm feeling bad. Well, you're probably hurting your friends. Yeah, I'm fe- and uh, that's what I'm feeling But it's bad important about. to learn how your spells work. Mm. Ooh. Okay, so take four damage or eight damage if you took double. So four damage. Yep. So Jericho is thrown to his feet. Oh, like so I take eight damage, eight hit points. Yeah. Yes. Oh, from, well, then I am that's all my hit points. So you're dead. <laughs> so you <laughs> you <you've, you've laughs> met me, you dealt me, you've given me a bardic inspiration, and then you've killed me. Abracadabra, bitch! <laughs> uh, and I say, <laughs> no, not like this. Not like this, please don't. Please, <laughs> Mama. Please, Mama. Oh, no! Well, don't don't like feel that. too bad because that means he watched a kid die and <laughs> did nothing. Oh, he was around him when he died. Phil <laughs> <laughs> Collins wrote that song in a <laughs> <laughs> Just listening to the radio, really. Jericho is thrown to the feet. That damage also oh, is boy. enough to oh, shatter. Boy the dirt around the bars that fall clonk 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 to the ground and the grill is open but you are dying now the crowd screams in panic and jumps back Jericho is frantically pulling his sword but he's he's lost under a pile of dirt and the next one up Drongo is well it's Drongo so make a death save for me oh yeah here we go big one you oh okay the, the first pass is fine nice. Zephyr or is already gone which means rock four um, I want to jump in to the cell 
and gonna go into the salad. No, and, don't. And and pop a little cheesy, a, a little good a cheesy good berry in oh, um, oh, a little cheesy much. berry in Drongo's so, beak. And then what is it? Can you tell us? You just heal one hit point. Yeah, no, no, that's not what I'm asking. <laughs> what is so? What visually, aesthetically? It's a crudite. It's a crudite. Yeah, yeah. So you have a magical. You can form magical crudites. Well, I have. Yeah, yeah. So this is the good berry spell. Yes, exactly. But they're crudites for me. It'd be like a little, you like, would, like you a little fun with your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a little, a little crudite. It's, it's a bit. cheese cube, yeah, <laughs> on a t- little crouton. Like a parmesan crisp. When it just came from the recesses of your Oh, clothing. like cheese two ways? Well, I've kind of got a lot of mold. Yeah, cheese two ways. Yeah, it's a cheese cube on a parmesan I crisp. Love that. Yeah. It's so bold. Cheese on cheese on cheese on <laughs> cheese. And so you can't not eat it because you're <laughs> unconscious. Wow, that's the most frightful so you come back to one, sentence I've ever heard. So you come back life. to one hit point. Yep. Let's go. Oh, you saved me. What What was that? It's called a crude Oh, I wish I died. It's part of you. <laughs> Tomathan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one of the interesting things about show business is that it doesn't always go right, but the show must go on. We're going to get in that cart. (laughs) Is that your entire action? (laughs) No. How close am I to the guard? Uh, Mandelboy is on his feet, but he's drawing his sword. He's right. Mandel- oh, the, uh, not Ma- is Mandelcore dead? Mandelcore, sorry, Jericho. 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 And you can really, I have assistant for making names. <laughs> on this one. Do I have any advantage because he's a little bit like? Yeah, befuddled? of course. He was just he's been thrown. He's <laughs> and prone. he still thinks I'm like a street magician. No, you have advantage because he's prone. He now knows that he is being <gasps> attacked. <laughs> well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. You can give him a wallop. You, yeah, you I'm gonna wallop. I'm, I'm gonna wallop him real hard. You have a staff, don't you? Yeah, with a quarter staff. Right, so great. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wallop him right on the head with a make an attack roll. Yeah. Um, yep. On the kind of like fontanelle part oh, of the. Oh <laughs> god. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that the soft part of yes. you as a baby? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the two parents. So I rolled a one. You have an advantage, so you can roll again. Oh. Marvellous. Well, like your wisdom boy. of baby skulls go to waste. Oh, I rolled an 18. So that hits. <laughs> right on the fontanelle. On the Little, fontanelle part of his on helmet. On the fontanelle, there is a crack. He is wearing a helmet, but I'm a class 16. And that's a 6, the most it can be. Um, but for some reason, I get minus 1, so that's a 5. Because you're weak, you don't have yeah. a bad strength. So, <laughs> so <laughs> Tomathan Trotwood, who joined the group as detective agency for no other reason than in retirement, he wanted to give back to his community, mm-hmm. drawn in... I did owe some money, but it was kind of a trivial amount. Drawn yeah. into the moment, he cracks. There's a sickening crunch as the helmet of Jericho is cleaved in and then there is a thunk and you look into his eyes as you see them go grey and roll up in his eyes and you realise in that moment that you have killed a police With officer. With five hit points? Well, most of it was Zephyr. Oh yeah, But you true. absolutely <laughs> finished him off as he falls down dead. You have time to grab something from the corpse if you want before you run for the cart. You know, I've never had to do this before. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about how my character feels about killing this Will man. Will that change your character? Yeah, I mean, boomers are really You're breaking like, bad. <laughs> re- boomers are really difficult to move on things. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, the, I think they decided things around fifty, and then, um, <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> 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 you, want, you want his purse? Um, does he have a little knife? I don't have a knife. I'd like a little knife. Oh yeah, you can grab. You, she has a short sword and a dagger. Yeah, I'll grab a dagger. All right, so you grab a dagger off him. You now have a dagger, and you bolt for the fish cart, which means that the next one up is Drongo. I absolutely bolt to the fish cart as well. You're down you're the ground. You're going to need an acrobatic shape to climb. Oh, or an well, athletics. I'm a freaking acrobat, you I'll tell you both, what. my dude. Whichever yeah. one's higher. Press my buttons, Eden. Yeah, you skills, sweet. skills, mm. skills. Thank you, sweet boy. Plus four or plus five. Oh, well, I'm going to take five. That's a bigger number. 18. 18. All right. So Durango immediately abandons Rock 4 and Zephyr as Help. he <laughs> jumps up, executing a little twist, scrabbles his way through the soil and bursts through the crowd towards the fish cart. The next one up is Zephyr. I'm I'm still down in the thing, aren't yes. I? So I'm going to levitate myself okay. over. <laughs> Rockford watches. Oh, I can grab him. No, because he. Oh, he's down there with me, isn't yeah. he? All right. Well, I I take I take Rockford mm-hmm. and I levitate over to the cart. Thank you. Fuck, this app is cool. I now have a dagger in my thing. D and D Beyond. I know it's excellent. Yeah. So you levitate up with, and the two of you levitate up and into the crowd which is already running in panic and head towards the cart you're all now on the cart as you look you can see more figures three more guards pouring out 
of the new model watch guard office and Drongo, you're up first. Um, no, sorry, Rockfo, you're next. Um, oh, I, I'm on the street now? You're actually I'm sitting at the stuff. front of the cart. Um, how far away are they? They're about 15 feet. I'm going to cast Entangle. Oh, that's a 15 feet. Uh, yeah, 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 very Ooh. convenient. <laughs> nice. On them and then be like, Drongo, drive, or Zephyr. Anyone, also, you could drive, Tomathan. Anyone, drive. Tomathan, you're up next. I'll um, drive. They've got to make a saving throw, I think. Yes, they do. Uh, there's three of them, as I said. The What's their DC? My DC is 12. Four, two, four. Oh, my God. They all fall to the ground as they are entrapped in a web of cheese. Uh, How does it work? More like kind of like mold, moldy growth, I like grow up around there. I hate your character. <laughs> you do have a lot of fun creating your character. I really do. Like, me and Dave have, like, funny body horror things. Like, oh, yeah, it's, I'm really it's pushing re your you're button. Really, you're really, yeah. <laughs> oh, that sucks so much. <laughs> okay. So they all are caught in string cheese, and <laughs> it's and they're trying to walk their way through the mold, and it smell the smell is sharp. You, th you it were smells like it'd be good on a cracker with some no, fresh figs. Oh. Mm. Is, that, is that their thought when they're like oh, stuffed? They're nice like, oh, this would be really good on a cracker. <laughs> yeah. Make an animal oh. hand on a check for me because there is a recalcitrant mule at the front of the fish. Cart. Oh, I have plus three. Mm. Really? Yeah. Does that mean you... Yeah, boomers have horses. Yeah, yeah. boomers have horses. <laughs> Only ones that can. Uh, well, that's a one. That's a, that's a one plus three is four. <laughs> Trotwood quickly scrabbles with the ropes. Does but some yeah. Because he has animal hair, he's so confident. He's yeah. like, ah, oh, this is a fine filly. Yeah. Does the quick, <laughs> does quickly adjusts the ropes and then snaps once with the whip on the horse. And the, and the horse, horse is like, the fuck you do to me? No, the, ho <laughs> the horse bolts and the ropes that Tomathan has just adjusted all slip not open mm -hmm. and the horse just runs we down just, the street. Oh, We're no. just on a stationary cart. <laughs> Full of fish. Uh, stationary cart. The other three are still on the ground, which means stronger. you're next. Um. Oh, okay. Um, are those they're they're entangled. All right. Um, is there anything else around me? Is that was that the only cart on the street? <laughs> there's there's a crowd that's sort of running in panic. There's some dead bodies. There's a gelatisserie. There is the guard store. You can see that are if you go through the guards, mm. there is the cop shops, um, paddy wagons parked out. There's three police. Carts. All right, I'm gonna try and get to one of those carts and whip it around. Oh all these guys boy! Again. Oh boy! Acrobatics check to get past yeah, the well, guards. Everybody knows Do I am some. an acrobat, and as every plus five. yeah, plus five. I knew that. That's just numbers. <laughs> um. I got a 16 plus 5, and I want you guys to know whenever I do my acrobatics, one I, hit point. yeah, well, you know, I'm pretty good acrobat. I kind of wave my arms like I'm, uh, like I'm, oh, like all oh, weak. Oh, that's sweet. It's yeah. sad. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's a little sad. I, it's, it is sad. 21. But you do a back, execute a backflip through the entanglement, roll on one of your shoulders, and you make your way through onto the, it has to be said now, the driver's seat of another cart with a siren that is a new model watch. Is, um, cart. is water, is water deep left hand drive or right hand drive? One, two, three, go. Left hand drive. Uh, incorrect, unfortunately. <laughs> you lose a thousand points. <laughs> well, I had a good run in first position, which means then that Zephyr, you're up. And you're still levitating. You have 10 minutes of levitation. Oh, cool. Um, I'm going to zip over. Is levitating fast? No, but it is over entanglement. Because the, 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 you can oh, go yeah. over the string Great. Well, I'm going to go and, and pop onto the cart. Okay, so still you... holding rock chest, still hold your rock of it? Yes, Swat, please. Like a newborn babe, like, like, like some kind of romantic... <laughs> and he's also going... <laughs> it's like Raphaelite <laughs> art, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. Kind of oh, like, yeah. It's a beautiful piece of religious iconography yeah. as Zephyr holds you, swaddled in cloth, like the, like the Prince I'm, of I'm Peace. I'm a baby Jesus, Like yeah. the Prince of Peace. As yeah. you, but cheesy. As you float over the cheese, and there's even a hushed door in the crowd as mm. Zephyr makes her way across. Which Zephyr's means... like, this is album cover material. Yeah. <laughs> you are writing this, down. this was the prestige which we spoke of before. Thomason Trotwood now is on an empty fish cart by himself with all of his friends on a functioning cart on the other side of a lot of guards. To borrow a phrase that he doesn't even know he's borrowing from six years prior from another part of the Sword Coast, he goes... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> and waits for applause. Yep. Does anything happen? Uh, how long do you wait? Like, enough time for somebody to be like... That would be... Okay, so, so we say 20 seconds? 
<laughs> it matters. It you're going to make him sacrifice three turns? It matters. So you're gonna, I'm just curious. So the longer, no, you wait, the longer you wait, the more impressive it is. No, I say Tada. Yes. Tell me how long it takes for anybody to do I'll a I'll say every action. Okay. okay ready? For six seconds. Yep. Everyone is quiet. One and I'm just One of the guards is looking at you curiously. Uh huh. Now, do you want to wait for another six seconds? Yep. I'm holding it. I'm standing in my power. Okay. The crowd is more impressed. Mm hmm. The guard steadies himself mm -hmm. and walks towards you with a curious expression on his face. Do you want to wait another six seconds? What's the... Can, can, yeah. Do something. Can I just, with a voice I've heard, go, That's incredible! Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, great. <laughs> it goes over listlessly over the crowd. So somebody has said that's incredible. Yep. And the guard is looking at you with a cryptic expression on his face. Okay. Do you want to wait another six seconds? I think he's going to arrest you. <laughs> 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 he's, he's watching. I kind of think... Because I reckon if the crowd can if the crowd can yep. get worked up enough, <laughs> yep. he can't arrest me because right. it's going to be so... Okay. <laughs> such a boomer attitude. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. If I do nothing and stand here, yeah, everything <laughs> will be fine. <laughs> You're going to wait? I'll wait another uh, six seconds. <laughs> Make for me a performance check. Okay. Ooh. Now I do have plus zero for that. Mm, that's so. good, so make sure to add that. Yes. Does zero. his That's Incredible help at all? You're so bad Gives so you the ability to make a performance <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I've actually been to a, uh, like a juggling yeah. convention. I'm My fucking character. Hing. I am Hing now. I'm sorry. You're sitting in Hing's chair and you're fucking Hing. Yeah. Mm. No, roll, no, 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 fuck that. It doesn't count. Roll <laughs> for a die, roll us for on the dice train. Okay. Dice cam, mm, dice, dice cam. cam. It's dice cam. Here we go. You need 15. Do, 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 do. Dice. Oh, that is a five. Significantly less. And as the less. rest of the Grimace Detective Agency watches with a cryptic expression on his face, <laughs> the guard reaches behind him for a pair of handcuffs and handcuffs oh. Donovan oh, Trotwood no. as a few other guards appear around him and you take that moment to quickly ha the horses as you depart behind them leaving Timothy Trotwood in custody hey. of the new model watch arrested <gasps> at last and it seems that you have rescued one of the agents <laughs> only to lose for a crime he didn't commit only to have another member of the agency arrested for a crime that he absolutely did. <laughs> yeah. Your crime was like embezzling some money. You guys killed two cops. <laughs> yeah. oh Something that the police are And famous. I was directly responsible for one, one of those. With many witnesses. Many witnesses. And as your cart disappears, Ooh. as the stench of fish surrounds you, it occurs to you for the first time that you may in fact be a humble cleric, perhaps not a high charisma character that yeah. should be engaging in these kind of high stakes situations. I hate to say that I had tried to explain this to you, but at the beginning of the adventure, Mr. Pims did say that you had a character whose job it was to talk to normal people, which is not what has happened, but at least for now, perhaps lessons may still be learned, perhaps promises may still be kept, perhaps an agency may be brought back into a strong hold of righteousness, sorely needed by the beggar's court left to suffer under the yoke of the tyranny of the indifferent such is the fate of the oppressed, such is the mercy of the rich, such is the future of Waterdeep and the Grimace Detective Agency. Thank you! Oh. I, thought, I thought that could have gone better for you. <laughs> <laughs>